Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another addition to my credit card stable. Now, this is another February pickup. You heard it right. I picked up two cards. I picked up the City Business Advantage Platinum yada 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 card from American Airlines. I never literally, I literally never remember the names of those cards, but I got that card and that was on the last installment. And today I want to introduce you to the MGM Rewards MasterCard. Now I might get a little whitewash out there with the paint, this way you can see it, but they put all the stuff on the front of the car, that's why I had to block it out. Welcome back to my dad's channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and subscribe, and don't forget to share. Now, what is it? It's a credit card. You know, they don't do charge cards. This is not a World Elite MasterCard. It's actually a regular classic MasterCard. I've done videos on the levels of MasterCards as well, but it is just a regular credit card with a hard and fast limit. So the cost of this card is zero. This card has no annual fee whatsoever. Got a mass card in the stable, don't have to worry about paying it, so really it can stay long term. So what's in it for me? Now, I actually picked this card up while the wife and I were out during Super Bowl weekend in Vegas because we like going to MGM properties and I figured, you know, what the hell, might as well pick it up. So I grabbed it and I got it because there is 3X multipliers and MGM points when the card is used at MGM resorts and properties. It also has 2X multipliers at supermarkets and at gas stations. Then it's 1X for every dollar spent. But also what enticed me to get the card was actually an elevated offer because when I was at the creator meetup, I actually had elevated gold status with MGM. So that allowed me to skip out on the resort fees and things of that nature when I got my free room at the Aria. We were staying at the Aria again, but because the year had flipped, my status had got downgraded. So this card actually gives me pearl status. It brings you up from the very bottom sapphire, and that works out, gives you free parking. So I got it for automatic status for free. That saves on parking, so the card already starts to pay for itself. And in addition to that, there was an elevated sign-up bonus. Normally this card gets 10,000 reward credits for $1,000 to spend within the first three months. But this elevated bonus actually gave us 10,000 reward credits plus 15,000 tier credits in the M Life program. The, the MGM Rewards, it's now called M Life. In the M Life program, which helps with status to move us from Pearl to Gold to go back to us not paying any resort fees. So that was really one of the things that was really in it for me. Now, in addition to that, this being a no annual fee card is that there are no foreign transaction fees with it. So I can take this out of the country with me when the wife and I are globe trotting. And also as an addition, that pearl status that the card bestows, it gets you priority check-in and special lines at buffets in all MGM properties on the strip and actually off strip as well. So that's nationwide. So now here's another thing for anybody interested in getting this card. If you're in Vegas on the Lark and you wanna get it, don't do like I did and apply on your phone and wait the seven to 10 days. I was actually told by MGM staff on hand that if you apply at that card at the front desk, they will give you the card immediately, physically to use in the casino. I don't know how they do it, but they assured me that had I not applied on my phone, I would have had the card right then and there to use. So the dark side of the card is that the credits, the currency that it owns, it's not transferable. It's only usable at MGM properties and they have a much smaller stable than their rival Caesars. So, you know, it all depends on if I'm in Massachusetts or Mississippi or New Jersey or Vegas, of course, but that is pretty much the downside of the card. I mean, it doesn't matter, it's a no annual fee card, so no harm, no foul, but the wife and I like hanging out in Vegas. So as far as the card family is concerned, I would really only relate this card to the Caesars Reward Visa card. Now that is their direct competitor card, but the only thing that the Caesars Reward Visa has over this card is that in the Caesars program, the status that they grant actually gives you what would be higher status and equivalency. So the status that the Caesars card grants you is diamond status at Caesars, which can work, work out very well if you're trying to run a strategy there. And that will waive your resort fees. And I think it's a little better than this card, but the spend required is much higher on the Caesars brand. So like I said before, the reason I have this card is 
Me and the wife like to go to Vegas. We like to take a mom and dad weekend away, get in, get out, you know, just hang out, absorb the atmosphere, get some well-needed rest, little peace and quiet. We like to travel and not have to be punching a clock. And Vegas is fairly easy to get to and it's fairly cheap to go to, even from South Florida where we live. So that's really the reason that we added this card. As a matter of fact, I've had it for a little bit. I haven't even used it yet. So with that, sub is gonna be fairly easy to hit. We'll have status and it will actually persist through the year. So that will give us, you know, more of an excuse to go back. Even if we go back maybe once a quarter, maybe, you know, after the summer when the kids go back to school. So we're looking forward to that. And that is why we have the card. So now to show you other members of the card, this is where I do this bit and the videos will appear in this general area. And to not hold you any further, I'll catch you later.